Oh, hey. Will Theory cash in money in the bank at SummerSlam 2022 is the video here today on SCW. WWE shocked the world at Money in the Bank last weekend. Theory being announced as the special eighth competitor that will take place in the match. He went on to win Money in the Bank. And of course, this past week on Monday Night Raw, he did go on to say that despite the fact he's got a United States Championship rematch against Lashley, a chance to win that championship back at SummerSlam, he fully intends to cash in Money in the Bank during the last man standing match between Brock Lesnar and Roman Reigns. And the question in today's video is, will Theory cash in at Summer Sam and of course the answer will be yes or no and if the answer is no then potentially where would I like to see him cash it in and where do I predict he would cash it in. So the first question on this video will Theory cash in at Summer Sam during the last man standing match? I believe he will attempt to but I don't think he'll be successful. I can see him perhaps being put into peer pressure from the board of directors or backstage that he would go and run out with the briefcase uh, and I think that he may run into the ring and either then think better of it, probably looking at a you know defiant Roman Reigns or a Brock Lesnar, or he could run out halfway through the match to get an F5 for his trouble. I can see him getting thrown around a lot by Brock Lesnar because I think fans would be on side with that idea. I don't see the idea of him cashing on Roman Reigns in general either, so for me personally, I'm going to say it's not going to happen, even if it is teased throughout the show. And I don't think that Theory will be winning the United States Championship either, but that leads to the question, when will Theory cashing money in the bank. So I'm going to give you a couple of ideas of what I'd like to see happen, then a full prediction of where I think it will happen. So where or how would I like to see it play out? Well, first and foremost, if you are new to the channel, you have not heard this idea from me before. If you are a regular over many years, you know for me, I like the idea of a long time with the briefcase, a chance to establish a star, go into some long-term feuds, maybe go higher profile feuds for Fury, make him seem in and around that main event so it doesn't seem so alien when he does cash in and if he is then to win a world championship for the first time. And for me personally, I'd actually like to see Fury hold it towards towards like the last few weeks because you first have got that idea of, well, he's got to cash it in soon. Is it going to be this week? Is it going to be the next show? And time is also running out. So where it's usually the vulnerable champion the actual person with the briefcase starts to become vulnerable themselves because the champion is expecting a cash in where it suits Fury's character so well being an arrogant heel it could be quite fun to see another side a different layer of Fury perhaps a more vulnerable side as well you can see him trying to cash in at different places throughout the year and not being successful but knowing he has it he's always arrogant he's always cocky and saying I've got all the time I'm like the, you know, the young gun time is on my side I'll cash it in when I fancy but if it comes to a point where like I say it gets near the end things will start to change and I think that could be a fun storyline to see it play out. An alternative idea if WWE don't want to wait that long I think the Survivor Series could be a fun place to do it. You've got Raw versus Smackdown and a lot of people say that Survivor Series doesn't mean the same anymore. To me personally it's still a top four pay-per-view. You don't throw away 30 years of history of a show overnight. It's still WWE's second longest show in you know the premium live event history of WWE. So for me, uh, for me, it's still a big deal. And I think Fury cashing in, perhaps on someone like a Drew McIntyre, who I expect to win the Universal Championship at Clash at the Castle, uh, of course, that will be taking place on September the 3rd. We could get another match of Drew versus Roman, then potentially at Survivor Series. And Fury cashing in during that match, or at the end of that match, on a vulnerable Drew McIntyre, I think could be a good place to go, and certainly would be a fun place to do it as well. As for a prediction when I do believe Fury will cash in, money in the bank I think it's going to be around Royal Rumble season, perhaps even at the Royal Rumble itself. WWE would need some storyline direction going from the Royal Rumble all the way to WrestleMania. I think cashing in Money in the Bank could make a lot of sense, not just for one storyline, but a few storyline directions going into the biggest show of the year. If it was to cash in on Drew McIntyre and then have a match with Drew, say, at the Royal Rumble, or the next premium live event, should it be at the Elimination Chamber, for example, where then you can use the other chamber structure to determine a number one contender, I think this could be a good way around to actually making a few plot holes and storylines. I think Fury will be taking on John Cena at Wrestle Mania this year and I do think as well it would make sense for Fury to keep that briefcase in my humble opinion because you know him versus John for the briefcase 
John Cena could go for that 17th world title. I think that would be a great fun storyline. But I think that perhaps maybe Fury would be a young world champion and just use that to rub it in John Cena's face all the more. He's still got all the cocky heat. He's still got everything else going for him. And if he can go into WrestleMania in a program with John Cena and come out the other end as a victor, I think then Fury is on the next level, especially the fact that he would be a one-time world champion, whether he is still holding that championship or not is a different story. Perhaps he keeps the championship and goes against John Cena at WrestleMania next year. We'll have to wait and see, but certainly could be a lot of fun to see how it play out. But I think the Royal Rumble probably is the right place, I think, to predict the WWE will do that cash-in. Unless they get lazy, of course, and just do creative changes and different directions, push different superstars, they can make him cash in on a random Raw or SmackDown and just make him lose. Never put it past WWE to do something like that. But personally, if you know my opinion, even if some of the wrestling community would be happy if Fear would have a failed cash in attempt, I think it's time to start building new stars for the future. Fury, of course, he's still got a long way to go, but he's in his mid-twenties. And we've seen the likes of when, you know, we had the, the class of 2002, the likes of John Cena, Randy Orton, Brock Lesnar. You know, when they were all pushed before, you know, had long, successful careers, they could do that with a Fury, even if he's not quite ready as of yet. With the briefcase, if booked correctly, he could be ready for the first time when he eventually does cash it in. But when do you think that Fury should cash in money in the bank? What's your prediction? What's your dream case scenario? Is it a SummerSlam? Is he ready now in your opinion? And how would that play out in your personal opinion? Let me know in the comments below right now. Big thank you as well to Batman Dave as well who put in a question for me to do this as a topic for a video. Uh, so I've done that for you here today. Hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, and like I say, like, share and subscribe to SCW. Plenty of videos will be on the way now on the road to SummerSlam, including what matches I would have on SummerSlam and how I would book the show. That Will come to the channel in the next couple of days or so and of course as we get towards the show also i'll be doing predictions also but in the meantime check out some of these videos on the side of your screen right now have yourselves a great day you've been watching scw here on youtube thank you for watching and i'll see you next time